power automate flow versioning a feature of power automate flow hey everyone this is prashant choudhury i welcome you all to my channel classy power app today we are introducing about this power automate flow versioning feature what this feature will do it will help you to recall to the previous versions of your power automate flow the need of this feature is to restore the previous versions of your implementation let's take example you implemented some business logic and later some enhancements come and you just customize the flow and in some case you need to go back to the previous version so till now we were not having any approach for that but now because of this power automate versioning we would have a direct out of the box functionality to recall to the previous version of power automate flow so how you can use this let me just show you let me just take you to my one of my power platform screen here i'm on my power platform home page and i'm on the power apps if you just go to this power flows which we call as power automate flows it will give you the option to create your, your flow i will try to make a very simple flow so that you will understand the functionality deeper and then you can use it in your implementations that example a flow name would be version testing and then i'm using a trigger as my trigger now let's take example i just use one action which is my initialize variable and then let's say var1 of type string let's say it would be of value initial value and then you just save this flow the moment you save this flow your flow would have only one trigger that is a button trigger and then it will get a value of where one as a string one as the initial value of, of type is string now if you just go back and then hit on this one if you just try to play this just for a second click on this run flow and then you will get an option to done and then just see its detail and it's completed its job if you just go inside this you don't have anything now let take example you need to customize this and then you add one more action that is set variable and then you just want to update its value to mid value okay then save this and now if in this case you think that okay we don't need this second action that set variable you just want only this initialized variable so one option is you just delete this but as this is a very basic logic so it is easy to implement but in case of a complex business implementation it becomes so hard to just go back to the previous versions so right now you can't see any versioning on this top okay so what you need to do you need to go to a solution and then in any solution let's say i'm just creating a one solution version version history okay and in this version history i'm just using a publisher as default maybe let's create this flow now let me try to duplicate this one go back and if i try to again open the same flow here only if i try to open this edit you can see at the top i have only option this name and then undo redo save and flow trackers but the moment i add this flow into my solution let's say cloud flow my flow name is version testing i add this one into my solution 
and then if I try to see this let it red okay now my flow is present inside my solution now if I try to edit this flow now I can see that on the top navigation still it is not showing me let me try to refresh this flow the moment we add our cloud flow into the solution it start maintaining the versions of that flow so in order to get the versions of your flow right now it needs to present inside the solution so i am not sure why it is not showing here try to see maybe one more time details in a new tab don't even try to use this power automate and then I hit on this edit so now you can see at the top I can see we have a version history as well okay earlier we were trying to use this from this power apps itself but right now we are from the power automate okay so now it is maintaining the versions of your flow now in some case let's say you want to add one more action into this one let's say you are adding set variable or maybe another initialize variable just to use initialize variable and then you give it a name as where to of type string and then where to initial initial value okay now you have an option at at this place as instead of save it's become save draft if you just click on the save draft it means your flow is saved but if someone try to run this flow it will run with the previous version okay so now you need to publish your flow i clicked on this publish and then it is publishing my new draft version of my flow if i try to see this version status i can see here that first my flow was on this one and it was last published later i created something that was in the draft mode so if any run happens in between these two last two versions it will use the this particular context okay but the moment i publish this particular version now all run now onwards will go under this particular implementation my last my last implementation okay let's try to to save or maybe try to test really succeed and then test here it is running okay oh, i think it has stopped somewhere no worries now let example we are deleting this particular step okay I'm ready to refresh this one. And then because of some reason I need to delete this one, this particular action. So I delete this. And then I simply save this draft. Now when I just go and check my versions of this one again I come to this edit I can see that on today's date 
we have this last version is this one in which I have deleted another initialized variable. However, the published version is that one which was having that initialized variable too. Okay. That is still there, I believe. Yes. Now let's try to see my last log and check its value. So I can see all four are here. But if I try to edit this one, the moment I click on this edit, it will open the version which is the current draft version. And the current draft version, I have already deleted my initialized variable too. That's the reason when I try to open it in the editor screen, it opened the last draft version. Okay. But the published version is something that will be used while the automation will run. Okay. So if I try to run this flow without doing any modification, it will use that another initialized variable too as well into the log runs. Okay. So this feature for now is working if your flow is present inside the solution. So that's all I have for you for this Power Automate Flow versioning. It's a lifesaver when you are working on a complex business logic and you have worked something which needs to be deleted or you might have deleted something that needs to be present in your logic. Okay, so at the time this feature is really a lifesaver for you. So thank you for watching this video everyone. If you have any queries, please write to me. Thank you.